Hi, I'm Dr. Randy Morris. I'm a board certified fertility expert and the medical director here at IVF1 in Naperville, Illinois. And this is Infertility TV. In a previous episode of Infertility TV, I discussed checking for inflammation in the body with a blood test. If you haven't seen that episode, put it on your playlist to watch next. In this episode, I'm going to discuss inflammation in the uterus. Inflammation is a process by which the body's white blood cells and the substances they produce protect us from infection with foreign organisms, such as bacteria and viruses. Inflammation in the uterus is called chronic endometritis. Most of the time, IVF implantation failure is caused by abnormal embryos. If you haven't done pre-implantation genetic screening on your embryos, then that is the first step. But if you've already done that and you still didn't get pregnant, it's time to look for chronic endometritis. Most women with chronic endometritis don't have any symptoms. Diagnosing it can be a bit tricky. Here is what we do at IVF1. First, we look inside the uterus using hysteroscopy. We are looking for certain patterns that are common with chronic endometritis. Here is a patient which we saw something called micropolyps, a strong indicator for inflammation. You have to use hysteroscopy with magnification to find these. Other methods for studying the uterus, such as an HSG or saline ultrasound, will not be able to see these abnormalities. Next, we use the hysteroscope to take some biopsies of the uterine lining. We can look at these pieces of tissue under the microscope for plasma cells. Plasma cells confirm that you have inflammation in the uterus. Finally, we will also do testing on the uterine tissue specimens to look for a bacteria that might be causing the inflammation. If you like this video, remember, like this video. Have a question? Leave it in the comments below. Infertility TV is broadcast weekly. Don't miss any episodes. Click here to subscribe. Click here to visit our website where you can register to become a patient.